Have you checked out the Lakes Golf Course lately? Well, Karen Bright recently stopped by and found out that the Lakes is helping to turn golf into a family affair. It's Family Golf Day here at the Lakes at El Segundo and the Southern California PGA is here to show us how much fun golf can be and we're about to go check it out. The goal of this event is, is to attract families. Uh, we have a mom's blog group out here today uh, and, and hopefully El Segundo and South Bay families to come out and experience golf, try it, and, and hopefully try it in a way that is fun uh, where, we, where we show you that there are lessons so you can get better, there are games so that you can have fun and understand that that's really what goes on here at this facility. So I'm here with CJ. Uh, he's going to be a senior at Miracosta High School and he started out here in the Junior Golf Academy a long time ago, is that right? Yep, yep. Uh, back when I was uh, eight years old, I used to come back here and just just to do all these fun uh, activities like uh, the putting challenges and the chipping and stuff. And I just came back here just to give back. Uh, so I've been working with Josh for about two, three years now. CJ was in charge of the putting station and I was ready to test my skills against him in the three-hole challenge. The challenge was simple, the lowest number of strokes wins. Unfortunately, my excitement didn't help my golf game and I was still trailing as we hit the last hole. All right, are you willing to put it on the line if oh, I yeah. make if a hole you, in one? If you get a hole in one, I I will win. Give you, you, you'll get a towel. I get one shot if I get a hole in one. Go! Go. That was not a hole in one. Well, I think you deserve to win. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I did not beat the pro today. So putting wasn't really my thing, but I'm going to give chipping a try, and I have a better feeling about this one. It's right there. So I'm here with Sammy and Carissa, two of the divot hole champions. They are experts at fixing divot holes and they learned it just a few minutes ago and they're going to teach me how to do it, right guys? All right, so how do we do it? Okay, so first you stick the divot tool by the edge of the divot and push up on it. Like that? Yes. Okay. And then you like press all the way around. And then when you get a big mound like this, um, you can step yeah. on it with your putter. Oh, for sure. Like that. You can't even tell it was there. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Our desire is just to get you over here. Not going to make you the Tiger Woods, the Michelle Wees of the world in 15 minutes, but we are going to get you hooked. We're going to show you a little bit of tidbits, whether you're a raw beginner like some of the kids that are over here are, or like you that have been athletic, um, or some of the people that have come over that are already players. If I can get you set up, then I let your natural athletic ability take over. And if you say, well, I don't have natural athletic ability. Sure you do. You know, you drive a car, you walk, you do something. That's all about a rhythm. Da -dum, da -dum. And if you've got a rhythm, I can get you to hit the golf ball. Go back and swing through. Okay, now notice that you locked your leg. Mm -hmm. Okay, that will hurt your back. You'll be a Tiger Woods. Now, I'm gonna put my hand on your leg. Okay. And rotate up onto this toe. There you go. So that your belly button or follow through is going to the target that you want the ball to go to. I'm gonna put my hand on your shoulder. Okay. Rotate and rotate. There you go, but you didn't hit the tee. <laughs> okay, so we peek. Ready, back and through. Back and swing through and follow through. There you go. The belly button and toe and everything went to your target. Okay, here we go. Rotate and. Better. That was awesome. I've hit the basics, chipping, putting, but now I'm ready to check out the technology that the pros use. And Alex, you're gonna tell us all about it. Yes, the TrackMan is a Doppler radar which measures what the club head's doing at the moment of impact with the golf ball. Hey, that's good. 
Okay. Good. So let me just show you what it did. All right. So in that shot there, your swing speed's 75.4 degrees, 75 degrees. Your attack angle, which is telling us how much you're hitting down or hitting up. Right now, unfortunately, you're hitting down on it just a little bit. With the driver, you want to hit up on the driver. You want to feel like the club head's getting it down to the bottom of the arc and you're catching the ball on an ascending blow. There will definitely be more of these kind of golf days. Uh, in, in talking with uh, the SCPGA folk about the turnout so far, it sounds like, uh, it sounds like this has been very positive. And uh, we, we uh, at the facility here are very open to these kinds of things. So I would imagine lots more of these in the future. I learned how to putt today. I learned how to chip. I also got some pro tips on my swing. But the one thing I forgot to ask was how to get out of the sand. It looks like I'm going to be here for a while. Reporting for El Segundo TV, I'm Karen Bright.